Hi, welcome to another tutorial. This one's talking about getting Microelectronica's sample program for real-time clock calendar. Um, getting it displayed instead of the LCD, getting it displayed on this GLCD. Uh, as in my other videos, 128 by 64 GLCD. Uh, there's a time ticking away nicely, today Sunday, 3rd of February 2013. Um, right, that's the display. You want to know the code. Move my chair. Right, move the camera. Right, as I say, this is a Microelectronica's sample code for the you see at the top. Just make sure you can see everything. Square the camera up. Bear with me for a second. That should do it. Right, um Micro Microelectronica's uh, Microbus RTC2 uh, clickboard. That's what I'm using on the like, Easy Pick version 7 development board, but you don't necessarily need that board or the or the clickboard. You just buy like a Dallas chip and wire it up. Um, Microelectronica give you the wiring diagrams. Uh, in case you are using the Easy Pick 7, follow those instructions. Uh, anyway, so what I've done is deleted all the LCD information and just copied the GLCD configuration off one of the other programs. That's easy enough to do, but the clock still doesn't work. There's more work to do. Uh, just copy their, their demo program. This is all the, the I2C reading and writing from the uh, real-time clock calendar. It used to be Dallas, but now I believe it's Maxime. Uh, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same, give you days or weeks, etc. There's just some, you know, I drew a, a square box and some sample text. Right, this bit here is the bit you need in case you're unsure how to do it yourself. I'll make sure you're in, on the screen there. Um, right. What I'll do, I'll leave it here for a few seconds and then you can just copy it down. So I'm, yeah, just putting in some random text. Uh, this is the bit you need. Actually, let me, yeah, actually, no, this is the bit you need first. You've got to set the correct font uh, for the GLCD. If you use these larger characters, for example, you'll get gobbledygook the... Uh, the variables or chars won't be reproduced properly and you just get gobbledygook and nonsense on the screen so pick this font um, you see 5x7 uh, there's my sample text and start copying these bits down so it's it's writing the char which is uh, it's, I mean it's from the old pick basic pro is a, a variable but it's writing these variables uh, hours minutes seconds doing some maths converting them from BCD and you'll see this is where 29 across uh, 29 pixels across 2 pixels down and it's colour white um, or 2 for inverted if you if you filled the box already uh, you'll see you have to be very specific in the yeah, right text so I'm putting the, the marks in between the numbers there a colon should I say is it colon? Semi no colon um, just copy this down so I can scroll through this, but you can obviously pause your video uh, on YouTube. So as I say, that the font is very important. You just can't use any old font. It took me hours to suss it out, but got there in the end. Um, so that's the configuration for the ports, I think. Most of it's most of it's the same now. I'll just put in like a rectangle, that sort of stuff. Um, this is this bit down the bottom. Is the this is actually microelectronics as part of the program. If you're updating the clock, you come down to the bottom here, change these figures. 
um, program the chip, program the microcontroller, and when you power up, you press, if you're pressing and holding button one, is it button one, button zero, whatever, uh, it writes this current time to the chip, um, and then just, that's it, just starts keeping time. So that's about it. The only bit I've changed really is this. This and the GLCD functions at the top, which you can just copy from one of the other demos. But this is all the hard work done for you. Have a good look at that. And just to put you back on the clock, this has got to be my quickest video yet. So if I reset the board, you'll see the, uh, the bit I've drawn, and then it's filled in with the clock days and all that. Only thing is, if you unplug, I turn the thing off, unplug the RTCC click board, turn it back on, don't get any data at all, not even my text. So turn it back off. In case you haven't seen one before. This is the Microelectronica RTECC click board. Plug it in at the top, but just a Dallas chip, Maxime chip, real time clock under with a 38 kilohertz crystal, a 37 point something something something. Plug that back in at the top, turn the power back on, and you see it carries on keeping the time. So, what well, have you? found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please click like. Thank you very much.